Hello. Am I not the person you were expecting? Or were you expecting me? Because I've been doing a lot of these lately. Anyway, it's your boy Guzma, I mean Zack, here to compensate this battle between Ian and Kate Golem, which are my division mates, fellow Johto people. Um, and I'm just going to jump straight into this blind, so without any further ado, let's do this. Classic intimidating music. Uh, this is a rival match, basically. Uh, this is the rematch for Ian, so we have to take it seriously here. And uh, to call is going to be Ian's lead against Rotom Wash. Um, and Rotom Wash is just going to go ahead and immediately try to get some switch initiative with a bolt switch, which is probably what was going to happen. Uh, to call will likely set up screens or rocks, or maybe U turn herself. We'll see. Yep, so light screen. It's a pretty good lead strategy. We're going to start mitigating some damage. So one problem is uh, Ian does not want Zygote to start setting up uh, right in front of him. So he's going to have to address that pretty soon. And it looks like he is doing just that. So he's going to take uh, to call out and that left shrimp is going to come in, which is a very good answer. Ian, you have uh, even HP on your Gyarados. If you go into rocks, that's a problem. Address that, friend. I'm just gonna keep preaching this. No one, it's falling on deaf ears, but I'm going to just keep saying it. Anyway, the calm mind, as expected, came out, um, and it looks like Ian is going to throw out a substitute, and Ian might actually start setting up himself here. Um, acid armor and calm mind, so we are fully setting up with this reuniclus right now. Uh, he might have the stored power set, so acid armor, calm mind, stored power, which would be very, uh, very good. But, if this Mega Gyarados evolves, you can't hit him with your stored power. Okay, so he's got Psy Shock. Um, same thing though, if this Gyarados Mega evolves, you can't hit him with your Psy Shock. Um, you've shown two setup moves, Psy Shock. Um, so you either have a coverage move to hit Dark types, or you have recovery. But you can't have both, from what you've shown. So, Deadlift Shrimp is going to Mega Evolve now, so they are immune to that Psy Shock. Mold Breaker shows. And he's going to come out with a fat stab crunch. Um, Zygote does have an acid armor up, so it does take it, but not very well. And of course, Deadlift Shrimp is immune to that Psy Shock. Um, we're going to see what Greg does here. Light Screen is gone, so... Yeah, Zygote is going to get out of there. And Deluge comes back out, so... Um, Ian takes a good opportunity to set up a, another substitute, so... Um, again, since you have even HP, your substitute is taking uh, your life down to exactly half instead of just above half. So it's limiting the amount of substitutes you can do. But that Volt Switch is going to come out and likely break the sub, but Ian has taken the opportunity to set up yet another Dragon Dance. So Greg is going to have to figure out what's dressing this thing um, before a Dragon Dance is all over him. Uh, I think it might have already gotten to that point. Calamity is going to come out and set up that Sandstorm. Unfortunately, Sandstorm helps your special defense and not your physical defense, so this Gyarados is still out here swinging. So it looks like Greg just wanted the chip damage um, from the Sandstorm, and now he's going to try to predict a water move. Um, but Earthquake is coming out, which Deluge is not taking. Um, Mold Breaker is very nice for that, so a uh, good move from Ian. Covered both bases. Deluge is down. Uh, Sandstorm is chipping you away. I guess since Sandstorm is chipping you, your health uh, being an even number didn't really matter, so I'll let you off the hook a little bit. I still like you, Ian, but you got an odd HP. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Il Matador is not taking this crunch. And I think this may just be a sweep for Detlef Shrimp. Um, big week for Ian and Detlef Shrimp. I think he has wanted to have a big match with Gyarados. I think that the two of them needed to have a good match together because I think they weren't agreeing with each other for a while. Uh, Ian just wasn't seeing the, the potential in his his newly acquired star player. And uh, I think Deadlift Shrimp has finally come out and shown his true colors and what he can do. So Clampazzo comes out. A Crunch is going to come out. I can't remember if he's plus three or plus four, um, but it doesn't matter because it's just not enough anyway. Um, 
Greg takes this time to just toxic. Um, which is interesting. I guess Sandstorm's not chipping him down anymore, so now we've got Toxic to do it. Um, and Poison Hill will start coming out for Clumpazzo next turn, but it's not going to live another turn because Greg's going to leave it out. So Clumpazzo is down, um, but you know, Dead Left Shrimp's still on a timer. Um, he looks like he's only got one more turn to attack, so that means Valcor comes in. And a crunch is going to come out. I can't imagine Falcor lives this, um, unless he's bulkier than I expect. He is not, so Falcor is down, and Debt Left Shrimp will finally go down after taking down most of Greg's team. I hope Ian's happy with his performance this week. I think he tried to make you proud. And Leviathan comes back in. Now we're going to see what Leviathan can do. Uh, and it's Zygote, so um, Ian should just throw off fat leaf storms and hope they don't miss. So that's exactly what he does. Uh, this one hits. Zygo lives on a sliver. Uh, and he starts call minding. At this point, Ian, you don't need to leave Storm. Just pick something that's 100% accurate and end this match. So you can see special attack and defense rose, but he is so low. Um, and Ian just got boosted attack. Special attack, I should say. He should be able to just drag and pulse. Good. <laughs> Good, Ian. Uh, but yeah. Good match from Ian. Um, that, that crit totally mattered, by the way. Um, good match from Ian. Uh, Greg didn't address the setup quite quickly enough, so Detlef Shrimp kind of popped off. I hope you guys enjoyed that battle, and, uh, Ian is facing Nick next week, which should be another good match. I hope it's, uh, an entertaining one. And Greg is up against me, so... Hopefully I can uh, take Greg on. I know he still has a Metagross in the back that he needs to bring at some point in time. So I'm looking for it. See you guys next week.